All right, guys, I did a video similar to this with or regarding bushcrafting knives not too long ago. But today I thought I would do a kind of follow up video talking about survival knives so cheap that it makes me question why we spend so much on them. And truthfully, there are some really great budget offerings. So that's primarily what today's video is about. But truly, it is crazy to think that there are some really awesome, pretty excellent options out there. And, you know, are they the most indestructible, most tough, most most undestroyable knives. No, but you might be surprised how something like this Mora Pathfinder, how well it stacks up against more expensive knives like Falknevens and other such blades. So without any further ado, let's jump right into it. So let's start off with the biggest of the bunch. This is the Mora Pathfinder. And this thing is crazy because it averages a price around $68. And for that, you're getting a 6.8, sorry, 6.7 inch blade length. Length. And of course, this is DLC coated or diamond like coating. Um, and this is carbon steel C100. And that's about 1095 for those people who don't know. And for that, you're getting, like I said, a fairly substantial blade length here. You're getting around an eighth of an inch thick blade. So it's not quite a huge thick slab of steel, but it is pretty wide and it does do a pretty darn good job of being a well rounded. Uh, field and survival blade. And of course, things I do like about it, albeit this handle is a little bit um, cantankerous or looks weird on the knife itself, but it is very comfortable. It is fully rubberized. It's going to reduce shock. It's going to remain, um, you know, room temperature, ambient temperature at, you know, colder temperatures when it comes to, you know, being out in the Arctic and in the cold in the winter. Um, and it's also going to be super, super grippy and sticky, even when wet. This thing is probably one of my favorite things about the bushcraft handle is absolutely grippy and tacky. All right, next one up is of course, by no surprise, the Cold Steel SRK. I show this bastard around here all the time, much to the dismay of many people because they say it's weak, they say it's broken so easily, but uh, I've really used the hell out of both my SRKs, SRKC. Um, these guys are pretty darn cool and they do take a beating. So I don't know, um, a lot of people are out there saying that these are weak. I think those people are just jealous because this knife does what all those other expensive survival knives do for a fraction of the cost. Under $100, guys, it's mind blowing, truly. And uh, while there are some places that have these listed for you know, 250 plus dollars, you really just got to shop around, really look, find the deals out there because they do exist. I was able to get this one for under 100 bucks. So the deals do exist. They are out there. You just have to look. All right, next one up is probably one that you wouldn't necessarily think of as a survival knife, but I mean, it absolutely can do it, and that is the Mora Clipper. The Mora Clipper, I think, is often regarded as just a, you know, weird or, you know, kind of throwaway knife, and maybe it is a bit of a throwaway knife ultimately, um, but it, it is a little bit on the thinner side. This is still a three quarter tang blade and it is again very grippy, very rubberized and very comfy. Also similar to the other Mora the Pathfinder that we talked about earlier. This is using C100 or 1095 high carbon for the blade steel. So you're getting a tremendous value here. And uh, yeah, these things are just absolutely the bomb. So this thing is for literally a sub $15 knife, impossible to go wrong with. And once again, when you look at other survival knives out there, there that are you know similarly sized or you know approximately similarly sized i mean it even puts other budget slayers like this master hunter to shame with how cheap it is for its size and for its performance all right, speaking of the Master Hunter, this is the Cold Steel Master Hunter in CPM 3V and also another sub $100 knife that in my opinion, very similar to the SRK, just makes you question, make you scratch your head of why do other knives that are similar to this size and you know, overall like, uh, design, why are they twice, if not three times the price of this knife? This knife I got for $89, so pretty much $90. So sub $100, not by a huge margin, but still such an incredible deal for a full flat grind CPM 3V blade that is freaking slicey. So this thing is also, once again, very similar to the Gold Steel SRK, has a near full tang, fully rubberized, so it is going to be comfortable and grippy even in the cold, even in the wet. Also, that really thick rubber is going to help absorb shock when you invariably baton it. And as far as um, durability goes, it's been just fine for me. And I can 
I believe it will have a very similar track record to the Cold Steel SRK. So absolutely love them. They are so hard to go wrong with. Um, all of these knives mentioned here, once again, are under $100. Of course, some more than others, but you know, all of these knives are under $100. And so it really does make you question, why do we spend so much? Because something like these Master Hunter SRKs are knives that you can get into for an affordable price, a realistic price, and truly Truthfully, as I've said in other videos, they're types of knives that if you get into them, you really don't need anything else. So you can go and you can buy a more expensive knife. You can even buy more expensive knives in the same exact steel, but the performance and what you are going to get for those knives, for the value that you'll be paying, will honestly not be be any better than this. This is going to perform and do the same tasks pretty much probably just as well as those more expensive knives. So that's why I say like these are survival knives that make me scratch my head and wonder why do we pay so much? Why are we paying 280, you know, 300, $365 for survival knives when we have cheaper knives out there that can do the same exact job and offer pretty much close to, if not the exact same performance. That is the mind boggling part to me. And part of me loves it because it is incredible to see this value proposition out there, but just don't be, you know, bamboozled. Don't fall into the trap that you need to go out and buy a you know, two, three, $400 survival knife or even bushcrafting knife for that matter, because there are some really solid choices out there um, that offer a ton of value for what you're paying. And so things like the uh, Master Hunter, I just love to hype up because I think for you guys, like this channel is predominantly focused on how I can deliver the best value, the best knowledge and the best skill sharing for my subscribers. And so that's why I love talking about knives like this Master Hunter and the SRK and the Clipper and even the Pathfinder because they offer you guys a ton of value. And ultimately what I want you guys to have is the best knives and equipment ultimately for the field and stuff that you can honestly afford. Because obviously you guys know, and I do my fair share of showing off things like the, you know, Survive Knives GSO 5.1 that is realistically unobtainium, right? You guys sit here and watch me and you're like, wow, that's a really nice knife. I'd love to have one. And uh, for the longest time, I was right there with you guys because I would have loved to have one too. But simply speaking, they're just not very attainable. And so for me, I'm a knife collector. I have my ways of getting my hands on just about any knife that I want to, um, within reason, you know, monetarily speaking. Um, but it's not always the most realistic thing to recommend to you guys, the end consumer. And so I try to really make these videos so that you guys can um, see what is out there and hopefully get the best possible deals for equipment. So anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. As always, God bless and I'm out.